funny because like you would think anyone coming to Dallas would make like a family film <laughs> or like a really, you know, like a, like a sweet drama or something like that. Of course, we're coming here and making a killer puppet movie. I am the producer of the Puppet Master reboot, essentially. Uh, we're calling it Puppet Master The Littlest Reich. I always wanted to make horror films. It was a big part of my agenda. I saw Puppet Master in 1989 when it came out on video. My Aunt Missy let me rent it at the video store in Shreveport, Louisiana when I was visiting for Thanksgiving, and I thought it was awesome. So, so this is our SFX workshop. Tate Steinsick is our department head here. We were putting this movie together and he raised his hand very, very high mm -hmm. and uh, screamed very, very loudly. He said, give me the job. <laughs> and I said, okay. <laughs> and uh, no, it's cool because he was so close. Uh, he literally was able to bring his um, trailer down here with all of his, uh, you know, all of his stuff rather than having to fly it in. But he brought in the team and man, they've been, Crushing it. Have that blood, Ellie? Probably not the best moment to have to pee. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I can hold it. I can hold it. So this mess is a result of me with a blood gag, where a puppet drills into a guy's shoulder, and unfortunately, I was underneath pumping the blood. So this is what happens. My name is Amanda Presmick and I am a co-producer on Puppet Master. The film community here is really important to me and I do have roots here and I want to continue to be a part of, of helping it grow and so I'm completely beside myself that there's the opportunity now to do that here because of what Cinestate is doing. The thing about them is, is they're, they're basically head and hands on, on jointed uh, wooden structures. Right. So all we have to do is take the head and costume. Um, getting the costume onto the animatronic and padding it out to where the body's proportionate takes about half an hour. Okay. Uh, but then, you know, fitting all the other things can take a little bit more time, just depending on the character. Some characters have spinning things and pushing things and stabbing, blinking lights, you know. Just kind of depends on the character. But uh, the whole process, it's not that bad. We have everything in-house now, so we kind of fly things together. So this is the Ambassador Hotel lobby, and um, so we're using this as our uh, brass buckle from the movie. And um, so we've been shooting a bunch of scenes in here, and we've been using all the old furniture. Um, this, is, this is the hotel that we've created, um, but this is a very important aspect of the hotel. This is where all of our all of our actors have come to congregate and be a part of a convention of uh, of these weird puppets that uh, may or may not end up killing a whole lot of people. I wanted to create this juxtaposition between the 80s iconic horror action community, right? So we've got Michael Paré, Barbara Crampton, Udo Kier, Matthias Hughes, and then we've got the up-and-coming Hollywood comedy space, Thomas Lennon, Charlene Yee, Nelson Franklin, Alex Bay, and what, a, what an awesome uh, juxtaposition there for our cast. Hey guys, uh, this is Freddie Poole. I'm uh, the stunt double for Edgar today. I'm gonna do a little stunt driving. Uh, this parking lot behind me is uh, gonna be our playground, so I'm gonna come in and right through the driveway and throw a 90, and then we'll come to a stop. And then to my left is a uh, wall that I'll be taking a truck and, and crashing through a cement wall. We've been thrilled with the response from the horror community and all the people on social media. They've been engaging with us, interacting, we've been sharing photos with them, so I love it. There are no better audience 
than the, than the horror film audience not in, in the whole movie business. They, they know that Blade's coming back. They know Tunneler and Pinhead, uh, Torch. They know the main ones are coming back. Uh, we're gonna surprise them with some new ones. Um, and then we're gonna save some for later in hopefully sequels uh, uh, of our own.